I see a very bright and prosperous future of dual credit in this region based on the uh, cooperation, collaboration, as well as the high expectation that each of the partners has for the students that we serve. One of the amazing things about dual credit and our early college high school programs as well is the incredible success that our students experience. Students who have dual credit are much more likely to matriculate to college and succeed and complete their degrees. So our vision is to make sure that every student who's able to do so is afforded the opportunity to earn college credit while they're still in high school. I think the biggest misconception is that these are high school courses on steroids. It's important that we understand that these are college courses taught by college credentialed faculty members. We do an incredibly good job of making sure that the faculty members that are in front of the students teaching dual credit courses are fully credentialed. We have a rigorous process to do that. Uh, our accrediting agency also makes sure that things like faculty credentials, facilities, library support, uh, meet the same uh, rigor and qualifications that a regular college course does. Two of the key players in, the, in offering dual credit to our students are the high school administrators and our instructional deans at EPCC. Our instructional deans are responsible for setting up the courses and making sure that the qualifications of the instructors are met. The high school administrators are responsible to make sure that their facilities are in place that the scheduling of the courses is done, and of course, identification of the faculty uh, to teach dual credit as well. Another critical component that these uh, players are responsible for are faculty evaluations. So the deans are responsible to make sure that faculty teaching dual credit courses are evaluated in accordance with our procedures and policies here at the institution. So for faculty that are interested in teaching dual credit, we encourage them to do a number of things. First to contact our Dean of Dual Credit and Early College High School. They'll be able to walk you through the credentialing requirements uh, for the uh, particular area that they're interested in teaching. Uh, in addition, they should get with the coordinators and other faculty that might be teaching those courses. We encourage our faculty and the dual credit faculty to meet regularly, to talk about curricular issues, to make sure that any questions that they have are answered fully uh, to make sure that the college course is the course being taught at the high school. Planning is essential for anyone who wants to open an early college high school. We encourage them to partner early, uh, to speak with their counterparts at EPCC. We have 12 early college high schools uh, that have been developed in a number of different fashions, uh, in a number of different time frames. Uh, and we found that those schools that are well thought out from the uh, ground up are the most successful. It's important to understand that dual credit for the sake of dual credit may not be in the best interest of students. We want to make sure that the credits that they're earning in high school are applicable to the area of study that they're interested in. So I would encourage all of you to make sure that you come away from this professional development session with your questions fully answered. We have a lot of people here at EPCC that can help you, that can guide you through the process of setting up dual credit classes, setting up early college high schools. Uh, if you have any questions at all, we encourage you to ask them and not leave this session uh, with those questions unanswered.